Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm cooking at home. We're still under the coronavirus quarantine and today I'm gonna mix it up. I do a lot of Italian Mediterranean style cooking, but I'm gonna make a very refreshing and light cucumber salad. We had a nice spring day here today, nice and sunny, and I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and put that together. I have a giant bowl here that I'm gonna make my salad in and um, I have some cucumbers prepped. I'll show you how we do those. I'm gonna add those to my bowl. Now I take a vegetable peeler and I like to do a few strips of peel off of there. And this is just for the presentation, so it looks visually appealing. We'll set those aside. Then I will take the ends off, save those for a snack. I'll cut these in half and then slice them up. Kind of on a bias, I think it looks nice. This salad has some peanuts in it. If you don't have peanuts in your pantry, you can use some toasted sesame seeds. We have red onion and cilantro going in there. If you don't have cilantro, you could use some basil. If you don't have red onion, you could use some green onions. You know, just mix it up with what you have on hand. So I'll slice up my final cucumber here. And then we'll put together a simple dressing. This is gonna have some rice vinegar, some real neutral grapeseed oil, and a little bit of fish sauce. So I have all of my cucumbers in my bowl. I'm gonna add my red onion. I took a small red onion and just sliced that up real thin. A good handful of cilantro. We'll save some more for garnishing. And then we're gonna give it a squeeze of lime. I don't have much lime left in the house, so I'm going with half of a fresh lime. Just squeeze all that juice in. We wanna let this marinate for a little bit. Some seasoned rice wine vinegar. Good portion of this, We're kind of like a pickled cucumber, We're making a quick pickle salad here. A little bit of the grapeseed oil, just very neutral flavored oil. I'm gonna give it a pinch of salt, some of that coarse kosher salt. And then I wanna to toss this up so it can marinate. The salad needs a little bit of zing, so we're gonna take some of these spicy Thai chilies, just cut the stem end off, and I'm gonna slice them really thin. We like everything spicy in our house. But this is really refreshing, light, and that spice is a nice contrast. Maybe I'll do one more. So we'll do about four of these tiny little red Thai chilies. And then the salad is gonna get some peanuts give it a little texture and crunch. Now I ground some up, I'll show you what I did there. I'm gonna add these and I'm gonna save a little bit to garnish the top. So I took them in a little mortar. Like I said, if you don't have this, you can crush them up with a food processor um, or you could use sesame seeds. Any kind of nut would do, your favorite nut. So I'm just gonna give them a rough crush, break them up just a little bit in this little mortar. save these to garnish the top of my salad. So to finish this all up, I'm gonna to toss it together, give it a taste. We have the spicy chilies in there, adds a great fleck of color. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, let's try it here. Really nice. So the salad is really nice. It has a real bright spice to it. So we're gonna sweeten it up with just a little brown sugar. And the last ingredient we're gonna add in here is just a little drizzle of fish sauce. Now this is some pungent fish sauce we get in our Asian market, but it adds a nice funky umami kind of flavor that really sets off the salad. Break up all that sugar in there, add a little bit of sweetness. We have heat, we have herbal flavor from the cilantro, a little bit of onion. Oh, that looks delicious. So we have this beautiful bowl from Thailand. Michelle and I got this as a wedding gift from our niece Brianna and her boyfriend Quiche. And that's gonna be excellent for presenting our salad. So we're just gonna dish it up here. Lots of the marinade. Beautiful color flecked with the cilantro and those hot red chilies. They add a real kick. And then to garnish this, we're gonna use a little more cilantro over the top. 
And then the last of our crushed peanuts. Give it some texture. Oh.